setting up your games console with Duma OS 3.2 is basically the same as it was before. There are a few changes. We'll talk about them when we get there. Uh, I like to use the main overall dashboard for setting everything up initially, and then I move over to Duma OS Mobile for my gaming experience because it's just a better experience. All right, so dashboard, do whatever you want with it. Geo filtering, not much has changed here, but we'll walk through it anyway. The way I like to set up my games console, uh, I like to just go ahead and add it. So we're gonna add my Xbox One X. We're gonna click next. Uh, you can choose your game or choose manually. I always choose manually and we click continue. We want to make sure filtering is not turned on until we are in the multiplayer side of the game we want to play. If it is accidentally left on, it can cause issues, party chat issues, other issues, don't leave it on. So turn it off and then continue, finish up. Now we've got our console. I like to use what I call ocean mode um, for most of my games and it works out really well for me. Everybody's connection and gaming preferences is gonna be a bit different. So you're gonna have to set things up what works for you. If you want to, you can just set your home address to something new. You can click the little uh, home button here. It'll ask for your you know postcode address, whatever. You put that in, it'll drop you right there with the uh, proper distance for your games and you're good to go. You may wanna adjust that some and adjust ping assist some, but other than that, good to go once you've used home mode. Does work, pretty cool feature. Uh, but I use uh, the set home manually and I just drop myself in the ocean. Then I take my set distance and I drag it all the way to the minimum. And then ping assist. This is where you're going to have to just kind of know your connection, know the games you play. Um, if you're playing Call of Duty, for example, you can kind of go in there and look at the ping and you'll probably know, hey, I sit at about mm, 40 to 50 milliseconds ping. And you can also use the ping heat map to figure out what works best for you when setting all this up for ping assist. What works best for me is 45. Every connection is a little bit different. You may be way lower, you may be way higher. It may not even be worth using the ocean drop mode. Seems to work the best when you have a lower, more stable ping. When it starts getting up there, and not so much. You might want to actually just use your home and set distance and stuff. All right, polygon mode. You draw your polygons around the stuff you want, just like always. Um, allow and deny hasn't been changed any. Auto ping hasn't been changed any, except for on the mobile side. We'll take a look at that here in a little bit. Of course, again, use your ping heat map. If you decide to use the, the ocean mode, find your favorite game. If it's not on the list, you can always try to figure out the closest game. There are a lot of games that are kind of close. And they use the same stuff, right? Like, you know, Call of Duty is Call of Duty, really. Um, some of the older Call of Duties may have some different locations. Basically all the same, though. Uh, so you can kind of just kind of figure those things out as they go. Quality of service. Here's where the big changes have come in. The congestion control side of things has been uh, really reworked to just feel a lot better. I've actually left things on and auto enabled this time. I'm not going through the special method of turning off quality of service altogether and just using traffic prioritization. This is working out really great for my connection and multiple consoles. So um, pretty huge. Uh, when using auto setup, they've tweaked it. it. It definitely runs better. Seems to not still be 100% yet. If you run into some weirdness, let them know on the forums um, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've got mine set here. It works really well. As you can see, it's a lot higher than what I would previously do from way older stuff if you've been around for a long time. So I'm really happy with this. Now, huge change. They've been working on the deep pack and inspection side of things. I've already made a video about this. I just found out though that PlayStation 5 still needs some work. I don't have a PlayStation 5. And I don't know anybody with a PlayStation 5. So I didn't know that this would be an issue. If you have a PlayStation 5, please let me know and stay in contact with me. If you can, hit me up on Discord and just kind of, um, the next time a firmware comes out, I'd like to know if this is fixed. Essentially what's happening is gaming still isn't being registered on the PlayStation 5 properly. However, I've tested all the Xbox consoles I own, which is pretty much the Xbox One, Xbox One X, and Xbox Series X. All of them have been registering gaming properly um, and it works out. So I've dragged gaming to 20% for both upload and download. If I remember correctly, uh, the recommendation was a little bit higher originally. So I'm actually, you could tell they've been working on things. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. It's been a while since I've even bothered messing with the wheel. If you own a PlayStation 5, do not mess with the wheel. If you own an Xbox, go ahead and set it to 20%. 
That is my current recommendation. Again, if you own a PlayStation 5, please join my Discord. I'd really love to stay in contact with somebody and see if this gets fixed because I know they are working on it. All right, traffic prioritization. The old way of doing things would be I'd prefer to add a device, especially if you're a multi-console household. Actually seems to be working without going around all of that stuff. Working really well. I've had multiple Xboxes on, playing multiple games. Uh, I've even left work at home on, even though there's not a lot of work at home traffic. Both will happen at the exact same time. Everything has been buttery smooth. I mean, just, just so much better. Could it be better still? Sure. And I'm assuming that in the future, as they continue to work on things, it's just going to get better and better and better. Only time will tell, right? But right now, it is definitely better than the last firmware. Night and day difference when it comes to your online gaming experience. All right. All the rest is pretty much the same as you would always set everything up when it comes to setting up your console. If you want to do any traffic controller things or customize your um, IP address by reserving an IP address, those are all the same things you can still do. The next big different thing would be Duma OS Mobile. Let's go ahead and lock into that real quick. All right, so Duma OS Mobile, as we have discussed, has brought big changes, made a lot of uh, backend changes. It'll always tell you that if you're on a desktop, this is not the recommended way to go about things, but We'll just ignore that for now. We can, of course, priority boost a certain activity if we need to boost it for a little bit. We can ping optimize. I prefer using this uh, on the phone for optimizing my ping. It works a little better and these actually show up properly. Again, I leave work from home on, even though there's not a lot of work from home traffic going on. Um, when it does happen, even at the same time gaming traffic is happening, even at the same time as multiple game consoles, everything works great. This is one of the big things they've made changes to. I do not have a console on right now, but when a game is in progress and a console is on, you will now get the location and the ping right here on the Duma OS uh, mobile dashboard. And then of course you can just go into the geo filter and do all your other stuff. This is huge. It makes a significant difference when you just want to glance real quick and see what the ping is to games that don't have a ping in game of course if you're playing call of duty you can hit the button you can look in game and then if you want to compare it you can do that but there are definitely games out there that don't have ping anywhere at all and you can just glance down at your phone and be like oh the ping for this is good and or bad and adjust accordingly so that is how you go through setting up a games console these days of course you could do all of those things through the duma os mobile app again i prefer using the main dashboard let me know what works out best for you. One last time, own a PS5, please hit me up. I want to know if this gaming bug gets fixed in the near future. All right, everybody, until the next time, as always, take it easy.